It's actually two thoughts. On one hand, uh, Neil was delighted, invited to join the Sweden Investment Summit. On the other hand, uh, of course, uh, we are coming to the Swedish market uh, this year, and that's why I'm also coming to see our team and also operational business. When are you launching in Sweden? We are about to launch in Q4 this year. All right. Um, as I understand it, instead of charging the batteries to the car, you can switch the batteries. Are you going to be building charging stations here as well? Absolutely. NIO is actually the company which you can both charge, swap, and also upgrade your battery pack. And that is a unique business model New is representing. And until today, we have built over 980 battery swap stations, including the one in Norway. And of course, we are going to also deploy the battery swap station, bring our innovative business model with our technology innovation to the Swedish market. So how does it all work when you swap the batteries? That's complicated for the technical in background, but simple for the user. It takes only five minutes. So in fact, there's a two step. The first step, the car will park automatically by itself into the swap station, which takes about 1.5 minutes. And the other Purely battery swap takes about three and a half minutes. So total five minutes, you will get about over 500 kilogram heavy battery pack fully automated without any manual intervention. So this is faster than charging the batteries? Absolutely. I mean, uh, five minutes, even faster than if you go to a gasoline station to get a car refilled. How many stations are you going to need in Sweden? Um, of course, uh, we will uh, have our business case and also very detailed uh, deta uh, business analytic. And, but uh, one of the uh, principle is uh, we are going to do the upfront investment to show our commitment to the user in the Swedish market. Of course, uh, we, the country is uh, big, and uh, as you have you have seen we have deployed in China basically over 979 battery swap stations in the last uh, three and a half years. So we have uh, this uh, ambition also to have uh, deploy a certain amount of uh, battery swap stations in Sweden. All right. Uh, how's the production going now with the shutdowns and during the pandemic? Uh, unfortunately, it's affected uh, everybody. In and uh, luckily, our factory is not directly in Shanghai grid area in China. And, but uh, because of the supply chain or partially on the uh, supplier uh, located or having their factory close to Shanghai or in the Shanghai area, that's why there's really was some impact in the last uh, two months uh, for our production and the delivery from the lockdown in Shanghai. But luckily we see the local government already started to change the policy and started to normalize uh, both the private and business life in Shanghai. And hopefully we will also ramp up our production very quickly. Uh, how do you view the competition with electric cars like Polestar and Tesla? What's your part in this? <laughs> in fact, uh, we are competing uh, with ourselves because uh, we are the company innovating many new business models for which, as I mentioned, including a battery swap, including a battery as a service, uh, f which demands a lot of uh, work by ourselves. So, we have also our strategy, both short-term and long-term. But for the Swedish market, we really have a long-term commitment. As I mentioned, we are going to have our ecosystem implemented here. And that's why I would say the competition is rather ourselves, how we can manage well under the uh, VUCA uh, period right now, especially giving in Europe some political challenges as well, and uh, to implement the strategy, what we made for the long term, really into the execution. Are you planning to invest in any Swedish companies now that when you're here today? I mean, 
I, we never exclude any business opportunities. But I won't say that I have uh, two targets right now, uh, but we have a uh, lot of uh, interactive uh, and also some partners uh, in Sweden. Uh, already starting from the scratch uh, back uh, 2014, uh, working with uh, some Swedish uh, supply industry, some uh, uh, companies in the uh, vehicle engineering industry. With our market entrance, we will expect a more partnership uh, to be closed here in this country in the different area in terms of the sales and after sales service. All right, so why, why Sweden? You are built for a great country. I mean, <laughs> uh, I think there's uh, some rationals. Uh, first of all, uh, Sweden is the biggest country in the entire Nordic area. And secondly, uh, Sweden uh, is very exemplary for sustainability. So transforming from the combustion engine into the electrical cars and also put value on the sustainability uh, of the society. And certainly Sweden is of course the biggest market in terms of the new car sales in the entire Nordic uh, country. Unfortunately, Sweden is always a country good for innovation which actually share the new value and the new DNA as well. So uh, we have uh, so many uh, commonalities uh, that uh, bring us uh, to Swedish market. And the last question, which model will be the first one in Sweden? I would say you keep a little bit uh, really tuned until we really give uh, exactly uh, the news about uh, the model. And uh, as uh, you probably have seen, we are selling right now five uh, models uh, in Chinese market. And we will definitely bring the model which both uh, aesthetic-wise, design-wise, but also technical-wise with the newest uh, technology to the Swedish uh, users. Thank you. Thank you. Can I also 